Yo, so what is up guys? I am gonna do the third stage three. There will only be about, I think, five stage three battles. Yeah, probably about five or six because um, obviously I think we didn't have two stage one battles, I think overall. I can't even remember. But I'll check after this. So I'll do the next one which I've got, which Sarah is gonna hate me for this, but it will be. Yo, Tiggers! So this, like, because I don't think I told you, but the whole way I did the whole drawing thing was that I've got everyone's names, and online I got this this online dice roll thing. So it came up with like a, I don't know, or whatever side of the dice. I can't remember what it was. And I basically just rolled each time, gave everyone a number, and every single time your number came up, I then do another number roll, and that was who you paired up with. So I don't know. So Arav was, I think, like, uh, number six, and Armaturazi was number, I think, nine. So, roll the dice. Oh, I got six. Roll the dice again. Got nine. Okay, so you two are together. Next pair. So that's how I chose it. And when I chose this, I just could not stop laughing. It was just unbelievable. Um, so I know... So Saraf has lost once or twice to Armaturazi, and he really didn't want to go up against him. I'm not going to... Um, <clears throat> no, I don't blame him because I'm a Terezi. I mean, I know you'll be watching this, but you are a beast. <laughs> oh, my, you're such a beast. I, mean, I really, really would not want to ever play against him again. He's beaten me several times. Uh, okay, no bother. Because um, I'm just asking him for the other one, Alex. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm a beast, so I don't blame him. Um, seven, seven. Okay, yo. Anyway. So, Armour will be playing as the, the Oda clan, who are specialists in the Ashigari range. So, to start off, he has got some. He's got four Long Yari. He's then also got two Katana Samurai, backed up by a Naginata Warrior Monk. He then has his general, who I can't remember what it's called, Oda Obuna, or whatever, I can't even remember. Um, and he does have a very, very nice formation going on here. He's got his light cab up front, then he's got his Yari Cav, and then he has two great guard calves, so this is a beautiful formation. Um, I'm not entirely sure what he was um, thinking he'd do in this formation, but uh, what I normally do is I have light cavalry up front, charge them in, um, prevent the enemy Yari Cav from getting a charge off, then I charge in my own Yari Cav. That's normally how I play, and I can't really see because the AMD crossbar thing is in this top corner, so I think he just said play, do you want to play? I can't do it just now, I'm commentating. I need to start going in offline mode when I commentate. Anyway, so we'll zoom over to Surav, the mighty Surav. <clears throat> and we'll put it into place so we know what he's got. So it looks like he's got Yari Ashigaru here. And so he's got, I think, yeah, he's got three Yari Ashigaru. He's then also got uh, Katana Sam, Katana Sam, Katana Sam. He's got four Katana Samurai who have all vetted up a little bit, which is pretty nice. He's then also got. Uh, mounted dicks, I hate these units, but Donderbus annoy me more. He's then got two Yari Cav and his General. Whoops, lag. And I think he just, I'm not sure why he put these guys into Spear Wall to begin with, but it definitely slowed his progress down just a tad. So these two, I personally thought were probably the best players, or they probably had the most potential in the whole tournament. And Sarov did actually, he was the one who came up with the idea of this whole Christmas tournament, so uh, hats off to him for that. And I have been talking over Skype with him. The tournament was really good because I got to talk to loads of people on Skype. <laughs> it's really interesting hearing people's real voices um, rather than just synthetic text on a screen. So everyone knows me, but it's good to know other people. Okay, so this... This hill looks like it will be our chosen battleground. Um, really, if I were Sarav, I'd kind of keep my distance a little bit. The issue with armor is that he's just got so many men. I mean, these Yari Ashigaru, or the long Yari even, like yeah, they're they're just kind of souped up Yari Ashigaru, but they're still good. And in this large number, they're going to be incredibly tough to just chip away at. Oh my goodness! Everyone's asking me, do you want to play? We can do one more. Just give me a minute, guys. Oh my god. Getting barraged. 
So is Yari still going to be marching up? I think these are long Yari as well. No, they're just Yari. That's a disappointment. Your last one was great. Yeah, I know, buddy. I just got to do this. I don't like messaging people whilst doing these comments. I just don't like it. Anyway, so he's going to put his Yari Ashigaru up front. And same with armor. Now, personally, I'd favor armor's army in this just because of the sheer amount of long Yari and because the Odder have got an Ashigaru bonus, they're going to do extremely well, to put it bluntly. Uh, but in terms of Gatana infantry, I think Surab is kind of favored in this. It just depends on how, um, how quickly he can chomp through all of armor's kind of long yari because that will be the main key to the battle also it's going to depend on how armor uses his cavalry and the same as Surav because Surav is really outnumbered in the cavalry department he doesn't have half as much cav I don't think as um, as armor but he doesn't even have as good cavalry either I mean yeah they're, they're both supporting some yari cav but to have great guard on the field that's pretty scary I hate it when opponents field great guard because I'm always cautious do you want to play okay sorry guys I'm going to have to um, but I will play some games with you if you want. Do you want to play? Oh my goodness, I got so many people. Uh, Commentating one moment. Okay, I'm just going to copy and paste that. Sorry about this. Paste. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, okay, okay. That's good. I'm happy now. So let's get back into the battle. So, in it's kind of a bit balanced, although Armour has got just more troops in general, and his cavalry is a lot better. However, um, Seraph has got going for him a very good katana samurai. So it all depends on how quickly he can mess up the long yari without being attacked by the cavalry so it's looking it's looking a bit tense at the moment we don't really know who's going to be attacking who um, it doesn't really matter I mean preferably I'd say armor probably wants to defend because of all of this long yari because that's kind of their best yeah it's kind of their best trait is just defending send me that link afterwards oh what link I don't know what link anyone's talking about <laughs> Anyway, I just need to get rid of that AMD crossfire thing in the top corner. You can't see it, but I can, and I can't see what... I can only barely make out what people are saying. Anyway, so, Armour's going to split his cavalry up. This is a good move. This is exactly what I do. Um, oh, 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 oh. I mean, so I probably should have just taken the shot there, but um, it'd be hard to contemplate whether or not he'd actually be able to shoot Armour in time before Armour got to him. But it's a good move to split up your cavalry. I'd always say that's a good idea because this is why he gets a side on charge, hits um, Sarab from the side. And actually, it's kind of changed my perspective looking at this. Because <coughs> beforehand, whenever I use light cavalry, I charge them in first, absorb the charge, they get destroyed, and I'm one unit down, and then I charge in my cav. But what he's done here is that he's used the charge of his um, Yari unit um, to charge into the Yari cav, so it kind of neutralizes the charge out. And then he's charged in his light cav, which have actually done pretty well for themselves. Um, so yeah, that's probably changed my idea. He's then uh, got his light cav chasing the mounted gunners, which is a good move because light cav are the fastest uh, cavalry unit in the game because obviously they are light cav. So it's a good idea to always chase down um, ranged cavalry at all costs pretty much. So it looks like the cavalry has kind of gone a bit pear-shaped for Sarav. Um, he really has to use his spears effectively and look at this oh this is this is looking deadly I would not want to be one of these samurai in Sarav's army that just looks horrible to look at it looks like some sort of Greek phalanx that's, that's looking pretty mean so he's just going to march his way in this does look pretty horrible Sarav's going to try his best to fight back but really, I think it's kind of a lost cause with his Yarish go. Um, it would be best if he probably charged in his Katana troops or charged them around the flanks and hit in the back of these Yarish units. 
because um, really he's just going to be sacrificing all of his spear units and he looks like he's realised his mistake because I was just about to say it'd be best if he put his Yari Ashigaru units on the back line to protect against this just cavalry charges because coming at the cavalry stage um, Sir I've lost it so Armour has a lot of cavalry to spare and he can just do goofy shit like this <clears throat> where he can just charge in and mess up Sorav's sword infantry. So uh, it's a good idea to quickly pull those back. Probably not quite so far back. I don't know why people put their Yari units that far back. You should always put it just behind your <coughs> Katana units. Not too close because otherwise if the enemy puts their cavalry into wedge formation they'll break through the thin line of uh, spears and they will get to your sword infantry. But I mean still you want to put them reasonably close as to not create any gaps. Now um, because of all of the just all these Yari units all the long Yari that Armour had he's pretty much encircled um, Sarov's Katana and they are prodding Sarov's Katana units like animals and to be honest Sarov's Katana Samurai are going down like flies here it's really quick um, these guys say they're losing in some areas they're winning in others and they're like winning decisively in other areas so really it's not good um, this is what big armies are good at I mean if you're a small army against a big army you always want to find some sort of choke point to <coughs> to focus down their army if they can wrap round you like armor has done here they're going to break your morale quick you're not going to be as effective and all your units will be fighting at once and it will tire them out really quickly it's always best if you get a small little choke point and then you begin to chop them down but I mean that was well played by um, by armor and you know, I wasn't expecting it to quite end like that <laughs> um, but yeah I mean it's a very very good battle Some a few things to learn off there um, just choke points you know what I mean but to be honest I think Sarov was kind of powerless in that respect he probably went a bit too much on the ranking up the katana samurai rather than actually getting more numbers and yeah, I mean, probably I would have got, I would have got that amount of katana units, but I probably would have ranked them up to one or two chevron, just to push them slightly ahead of what armor two may have, armor Terezi may have brung, but and then I would have focused the rest of the funds I had left on cavalry, because cavalry was the main part which slaughtered Sir from that battle, because <clears throat> if he won the cavalry fight, the long yari probably wouldn't have been a problem bit bizarre to say given that the long yari are spear units but he probably could have done some hammer and anvils hit those long yari from the back and it probably would have prevented um armor from you know closing in on sarav because he would have been more concerned about his flanks and rear attacks on his long yari so that was a good battle thoroughly enjoyed it um as you can see he did bring some more units just under 200 more um but still a very very good battle oh no sarav the kill ratio isn't isn't looking good, but let's just see where he went wrong. So, Amaterasu, obviously the long Yari were probably the key winner actually in this, just because they killed all of his infantry. But following that, the Great Guard and all of the kind of cavalry units definitely played their part in eliminating the mounted dicks. And. So, what units didn't perform well? Well, the Katanas didn't perform well. Um, I mean, all of his units didn't really perform that greatly. Um, probably a good way to beat the big army is probably to outflank it itself in some respects. So, kind of hold it down in the centre with some good units and then outflank. I mean, when you look at Armour's army, it wasn't really too... It wasn't too morale-orientated. I mean, he had a lot of long... Yarishikaru. I mean, if you can somehow outflank them or break their morale or rear attack them, you can break them pretty darn easily. But um, I think the problem was that just the the Yari wall really was the only option for Sarav, and he just kind of got trapped after he lost his cavalry. But it was a good game, and I shall be doing another one because I'm waiting for two more people to send me some battles, and that's it. So bye for now.